Hello. Hey, how are you doing that? I'm good, Terry Joe. How are you? Um, um, I'm doing mighty fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just put myself a, a pizza roll in the oven. Mm -hmm. And then I just said, a pizza roll, not a big one, just one pizza roll because you know I'm watching my food. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Sorry, I've got that Thank COVID. you so much. Huh? Oh, well. Yeah, I've Are got okay? that COVID, something fierce. Just okay. don't mind that. Um, yeah, I've been coughing up blood for the last two days. Have you seen the doctor? Nope. Can't afford, that. I can't afford no health care in this country. You know, that's the one bad thing about this country. Just the one bad thing, though, um, about this country. Yeah, the health care sucks. Yeah. yeah. But you know everything. <laughs> Derry Joe, how have you been? Besides the COVID. <coughs> yeah. There you go. Get it all out. Anything new happening? Um, I've been great. I've been great. Um, I just got my uh, wisdom teeth taken out in the back. So, you know, um, I got plenty more room in the back. For oh, extracurricular yeah. activities. Eating more food? Exactly. Yeah. Eating more food and praising the Lord. Um, oh, yeah, of course. You know I mean? Yeah. Of course. You know what I am obsessed with right now? What? Canes. Raising canes. Oh, yeah. Uh, we ain't got none of that down here Um, in Louisiana. Um, I wish we did because I did have some when I was in... Uh, Texas, mm -hmm. but in Louisiana, we ain't got that. My mom said we couldn't even afford it anyways, but my cousin bought me some when I was in Texas. So. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something crazy? What? I was literally just talking about you before you popped in, because I was saying, so I was w just watching a James Charles video yesterday, and you were on, you were like at the front of his video, and I loved that. At the front of his video? James Charles? Like, oh, like were, a YouTube video? Yeah, yeah, one of your lives were in his video. Did you yeah. notice? Have you ever seen that? No, one thing about him is I prayed for him day in and day out. And so maybe my influence is taking effect. Because, you know, I am a God warrior, and I do mm -hmm. uh, pray for all homosexuals. And, you know, he's the queen of them, or at least the king, or he want to be the queen, whatever. I don't know. I don't know how these people do their pronouns and shit like mm -hmm. that these days. But, yeah. you know, I pray, if you pray, if you cut the head off the snake, then the rest will follow. You know what I'm saying? So he's the head of the snake, the queen of the homosexuals. Cut the head off of that one, and you get the rest of them. They're free from those shackles and chains. Shackles and chains. You know I, what I, I mean? love him being, I love him being the queen. Of course you do. But that's what I'm saying. You're in them shackles and chains, too. You're a sympathizer. You're a fucking sympathizer and a supporter and an ally. Take me. Take me. I ain't taking you nowhere. Where okay. you need to be taken to is church. I love church. Of course you do. The homosexual church, which is the club. No, I can't go to clubs. I, I have seizures. Flashing lights will trigger it. I like to stay home and read my Bible. I'm just kidding. Every year, baby. Well, the thing about it is, um, I do believe you, but you can't be running around here telling people that you support homosexuals if you're a Christian. I guess you can. It's called hypocrisy, sweetie. No, sweetie. listen. Darling. Listen. God loves everyone. No, he don't. He does. He loves everybody. Only God he can does do it. love everybody, but the thing is, he don't agree with that. He don't agree with that lifestyle. I, well, I think he the don't. Bible, he it goes was himself. It came was to my really... house two nights ago. Came to my house, came up to my bedroom, and I was laying in bed. I was laying in bed, um, reading my books, reading my erotic novels. He mm -hmm. came in there, and he was like, "What are you doing?" I said, "Read my books." I said, um, I've been thinking about you mighty, uh, mighty hard and something fierce. And he said, I know, but that's why I'm here. He came over to my bed and he put his hand on my thigh. And you know what? Jesus showed me a couple of things that night. And one of those things he showed me was uh, homosexuality. 
It's not right. It ain't. And that's what he told me with his own mouth. So you can't tell me anything different. Okay. So how can you sit there and say that you're a Christian and still support homosexuals? Because I think Christianity is all about being a genuine, nice human. And we're supposed to love everyone like Jesus loves all of us. That ain't how Christianity works. Yes, it is. Christianity, you're supposed to um, love thy neighbor. But if thy neighbor is white and a Christian, nothing else. <laughs> no, <laughs> you stop that. You stop that. Oh, that's what he told me. No, that's not what he told you. That is what he told me. Here we go. What? God loves, told, tells us to love everyone. No, oh, well, if he told you that, he must have been lying. That's what the Jesus, that's what the Bible says. What does God look like to you? He, well, I don't think that God has a face. I Describe think just, him. What does he look like on the pictures? He looks like a man with long hair. Oh no, that no, that's Jesus. That's what Jesus looks like. But we don't see we don't see God. God's just the um, Holy Spirit. Well what he looks like to me when it comes to my house, he's got red skin. He got two red. horns. Yeah, he's got two horns coming up top of his head. And he carries a little stick with three prongs on it. Um and then he told me, um, spread my legs so we can pray. And that's what I did. Um my I think you're talking about Lucifer. Who? Lucifer. The devil. No, I think you're sorely mistaken. The devil's um he's got long hair, it comes about right here. Um no, that, that's he Jesus. wears a robe. Huh? That's Jesus. Yeah, that's Jesus. I think you're mistaken, sweetie. I'm, I think huh? I, I'm not, I'm not mistaken. Well, that's not what I heard. That's not what the church in my, what, what the people at my church Harry, preached. Harry Joe, where are you from? Montana, Louisiana. Oh, I'm from Kentucky. Oh. Well, anyways, um, you want to do a battle? No. No. Why not? Because, Harry Joe. Why not? You know, it's battling for Christianity. That's what it is. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So you ain't no Christian. Is that what you're saying? I After am a all this, I am a Christian. So you, why don't you want to battle for Jesus Christ? Because you ghost me every time. I don't know what you're talking about. This is the first time we ever spoke before. No, we've spoken another time. You got me mistaken. You mistaken me for um, uh, Britney Spears. People uh, mistake me for her all the time. We've talked one other time, and you ghosted me. I don't know what you're and talking then I'm about. Sure that I must have been Britney. Georgia Peach, and she ghosted me too. Well, that sounds like her, but I would never do something like that. Sure wouldn't. I'm a Christian, and whenever I'm talking to somebody, and especially when I'm doing a battle for Jesus Christ. You'll never catch me doing something like that. Well, I love Jesus Christ, but I swear you ghost me. No, I don't. I, look, I'm going to show you right now. Click it. <laughs> Are you going to ghost me? No, click it. You swear? I swear to God. You pinky swear? Yeah. You better not. Mm-hmm. <laughs>